Hello, friends. Um, I was speaking with Olya yesterday from Burke's Gems and Beads, and she wanted to be reminded about how to transfer her beads onto her yarn for kumihimo or bead crochet. Um, this project features fire polish beads that are on just cotton size 10 yarn, and once the beads are all on there, they're crocheted. And then the workshop also included these uh, wonderful polygon stitch based bezels that are as beautiful from behind us from the front. Um, and then this slide that uh, features stick pearls and it slides down to either end of the lariat. So anyway, this is for you, Olya, and for anyone else who wants to be reminded about how to transfer the beads quickly. Now I have an uh, illustration in Mastering Beadwork about how this is done. Um, let's see if I can find that. The project is called Bead Crochet Out Loud, and it's a very friendly way for people to um, conquer bead crochet if you have find it daunting or frustrating. Um, here's the illustration that shows what I'm going to show in the video now with how to string the beads for crochet or this is also valid for kumihimo so that all the beads get on the yarn before you start. Now some of the bead crochet projects are right here on my bench so I'll show them to you. These are those Javanese beads, uh, little lampwork beads and they're done on ribbon yarn just like in uh, Bead Crochet Out Loud. A little thread there, whoops. Um, in the book. This is done with size 2 uh, stripey beads, which I just love. This is size 3, I think, um, lined beads. These are number 6 check beads that I bought in a hank. This features again that fabulous uh, bezel with the polygon stitch that, that gives such a nice little um, basket to hold the stone. And this is the other example from the cruise where we did the bead crochet rope so people who were daunted or intimidated by bead crochet could feel really satisfied that they conquered that stitch. Because once you can do it in any bead, you can do it in all beads. And again, it features the two Rivoli's and the stick pearl slide. Okay, so we're going to start by having a hank of whatever bead you're going to use. This is a hank of three millimeter fire polish, but it could just as easily be a hank of uh, check beads in any size. And then you would use your awl to pick open the knot on the hank so that you can lay the threads out like this, each of the strands that come in the hank. So once you have that, find your crochet or kumihimo yarn and just leaving it on the ball, of course, or skein, lay your uh, bead crochet or kumihimo yarn out on your table on top of the end of one of your strands. So I'm going to move the beads down the strand a little bit towards the end of the tail and I'm going to use this thread that I've uh, now revealed to tie a simple knot, just one knot, over the crochet yarn. So I hope you could see that I laid the crochet yarn on the hank thread and then I'm just going to tie one simple knot. Don't make a second one, as tempting as that is. If you make a second one, it frequently um, doesn't allow the bead to slide over the yarn. So now I pick up the other end of the string of fire polish or whatever your bead choice is and I slide just a few beads onto the bead crochet or kumihimo yarn. So you're tempted to just hold the end and slide them all but resist temptation because I have found that that doesn't work well. Often the knot comes undone and everything spills on the floor. So just be comfortable to just move a few down at a time but you can see that it works much faster then picking them up with a needle and thread. So there we go, I've just transferred that whole strand in just moments onto my bead crochet yarn. So I would follow suit with all the rest. So I'll just slide that empty yarn or string off the yarn. Again, I move the beads down on the thread a little bit so that I have some thread exposed. I lay my crochet yarn on top of the exposed thread and then I tie one simple overhand knot just like so. Just one knot 
I pick up the other end of the hank and then just transfer a few at a time onto the bead crochet yarn. There we have it. So you can see how quick and satisfying that is. So I hope you have fun with your bead crochet projects. Um, if you haven't tried bead crochet yet, for goodness sake, give it a whirl because it's just fantastic. And it's a wonderful portable project to take with you in the car or, um, of course, if you're not driving. Um, it's very satisfying. Well, thank you for joining me today. I look forward to meeting with you again. That's all for now. Bye.